Well, here's the following question. So we uh, look at um, functions fx equals 1 over x to the power alpha. Then uh, we, well, intuitively, if x to the power alpha goes to infinity fast enough, then the integral 1 to infinity, 1 over x to the power alpha, will exist, right? So we have considered 1 over x squared, and we found that the integral from 1 to infinity, 1 over x to the power alpha, converges for alpha equals 2. So here we try to find an answer to the more general question for which alpha such integral exists. Well, notice uh, uh, for the moment that uh, if alpha is not equal to 1, then the primitive a primitive of uh, 1 over x to the power alpha is an easy one, since we may simply find it by considering 1 over x to the power alpha as a power function. So we get 1 over 1 minus alpha times x to the power 1 minus alpha plus c. And uh, if alpha equals 1, we have the function 1 over x. And the function 1 over x has as primitive the natural logarithm of the absolute value of x plus, again, the integration constant. Don't forget it. So now we treat those two cases differently. So where alpha is unequal to 1 and alpha equals to 1. So first, let's look at, have a look at uh, the case where alpha equals 1. Then the integral 1 to infinity over 1 over x to the power alpha equals the improper integral from 1 to infinity, 1 over x dx. And this is defined as the limit for t to infinity of 1 to t, the integral from 1 to t, 1 over x dx. And the integral, integral for 1 to t is now, for a fixed number t, a definite integral. So we may apply the usual technique that we evaluate the primitive ln of x in between 1 and t, so we get the limit for t to infinity of the ln t minus the ln 1, but the ln 1, of course, equals 0. And we also know that uh, the limit for t to infinity ln t equals infinity, so this is a divergent integral. So 1 over x does not go fast enough to zero to have a bounded region enclosed by its graph and the line x is zero and y equals zero. Now suppose a is unequal to one, then we write this again, the proper integral as a limit, and we substitute for the primitive, so one to t, the integral from one to t, one over x to the power alpha dx, is again a definite integral which may be evaluated by looking at the primitive in between 1 and t, the values 1 and t, so that we get the limit of 1 over 1 minus alpha t to the power 1 minus alpha minus the value in 1 which equals you know, one t to the power of one minus alpha minus the value in one, which is minus one over one minus alpha. Now we have two cases where a um, where alpha is smaller than one. Was alpha is smaller than one, then we would have a t to the power of something positive which, of course, converges to infinity, goes to infinity, so it does diverge. And if alpha is larger than 1, we would have a power t to the power of something negative, and we would have a vanishing term t to the power 1 minus alpha. So in that case, we find there's a limit 1 over alpha minus 1. So if alpha is larger than 1, it convergent, it, it, the integral converges, and in all other cases, 
the integral is divergent. So as an answer, we find that alpha should be larger than 1 in order to uh, have an existing uh, improper integral from 1 to infinity uh, of the function 1 over x to the power alpha dx.